Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. The last time we did some forging, and then we went and got the the uh, forging hammer from Galapagos, and then we entered into the battleground. And apparently, I took so much time in between episodes that that piece of Mithril respawned. So neat, great. Anyway, let's go ahead and explore more of the battlegrounds here, which is pretty dangerous for the most part. That's not going to, like, completely kill you, but there's definitely some stuff in here that you want to watch out for. So, let's go. Actually, I'm not even sure if we can explore the whole thing. I think there is a locked door that we don't have the key for uh, down at the bottom of the dungeon. It's basically the same one that will let us unlock all those uh, uh, doors that we can't unlock with the metal or the magic key. <clears throat> we basically just need a better thief's key, pretty much. Brighton Rock, Brighton Rock, Red Eye, and a whole bunch of Brighton Rocks if that's what you're into. Because why not? There is a can of box in here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it's at. Yeah, you're the can of box. Um, let's go. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah, this might cause uh, some problems here. Oh, Pan Pandora's box. Okay. I thought it was a cannon box, but no, I was uh, slightly mistaken. You were trying to go for a crit, you bastard. Uh, let's not. Instead, Cobra. He's poisoned. Perfect. That makes my life easier. Uh, let's go for that multi thrust goodness here. 328 stuff. Uh, we want some Umbrella Blade here. 400. Neat. Uh, let's go ahead and if I can find it, sap him. Ah, missed. <coughs> the black. No. Uh, you're going straight for my healer, aren't you? You went for Eric, you bastard. Okay, no crit. We're good. But luckily, we have plenty of Yggdrasil Leafs. So, Eric, there you go, sir. I owe you one. Alright, uh, let's see. How much was Quadra Slash going to do you? Ah, I meant to do a uh, Sword Dance. Oh, well. We're going to save That's still not too bad. There we go. It's going in effect twice there from the Enchanting Echo, but that's not really going to help us with the whole uh, sap thing already being applied. Uh, I was going to do the Divide combo, but since we got wrecked on the we got wrecked on the Thwack spell there, yeah, maybe just kill it with the uh, Multi Thrust and Sword Dance. Swords Dance, let's go. <laughs> and there we go. You put up a fight. And you're done. And a Seed of Skill. Yeah, that was less than worth it for a single Seed of Skill, but uh, whatever, I guess. Oh well. You get what you get. Oh, and there is our ride if we need it. As well as some other stuff for us to collect. Sunny Citrine. Yellow Eye. Uh, let's see. Dragon Ear. Let's go ahead and get you. Do we want that mount? Let's see, the Dragon Ears. Uh, they have a dragon horn from a common steel and a worm fang from a rare steel. Isn't the worm fang the, uh... I'm trying to remember if the worm fang is like the, uh, sword that we had, but I don't think it is. It might be. I don't remember. But we will quadra slash and get wrecked in Dubai. Uh, 
the spark bottle is here to you. I don't think you're going to do anything dangerous, but the sooner we get you out of the way, the better. So, goodbye. Yeah, it didn't hurt too bad. It kind of hurt, but not a whole lot. Uh, let's go ahead and use you on a actual magic spell here. Uh, let's see how you look with a nice kisses. Yeah, not too bad. 200. Ooh, and you did it twice. Nice. That's pretty good. Also, I think it's I think the enchanting echo is free, so it's not even like you gotta take any extra MP out of it, so that's nice. Alright, so there's a couple areas up here that we can't get to, that we couldn't get to without the aid of Mr. Dragon here. So let's go see if we can find those. Not a whole lot. I think in this particular area there's like one or two. And then slightly later on, there's a couple others. But actually, isn't this the one that we already got to? No, this is slightly different. I will ignore you and grab our treasure chest. Okay, I didn't think there was uh, a second Pandora's box here. Fair enough. You want some? All right, you're poisoned. Good stuff. Okay, no crit. We're good. We're good as long as we don't crit. Uh, and then just, yeah, keep up. Actually, uh, revamp could do pretty good at the same time. Just a couple multi-thrusts and sword stances and whatnot will be enough to eventually finish them off here. So yeah, I think we're just good with just the basics. Can we get a sap going, please? Thank you. And if it misses, feel free to cast it again. Nope, okay, good. We didn't need to cast it a second time. We got good luck. Finally, with whack, please don't. Okay, soul, you're dead. We'll have to survive there. Uh, let's see, you go for a five. Duck and dive. And this should easily kill him on his next turn. Uh, let's go ahead with a Yggdrasil leaf on soul there. You can kill me with your Gathwack as much as you want. However, it's not gonna work out terribly well for you there. Because we will just go ahead and keep on re-reviving. So, yeah. Uh, let's go frizzle see how much we do onto the basic fire attack. Basically nothing. Okay, fair enough. Get crit. That hurt. Get that. Uh, Mr. Cannonbox, how quickly are you going to die? Like, right now. Bye bye. Have a good day now. Thank goodness. Things are looking. Oh, Jay gets a level. Neat. Three and a two. Another seventeen points. And yeah, we get Kazing finally. Yeah, which means we don't have to rely on Zing Stick or Yggdrasil Leafs as much with her there. So neat. I mean, we can still use the Yggdrasil Leafs and Zing Stick. Actually, no, she doesn't get Zing Stick. Well, technically she does right now. Yeah, she, okay, she, she does get Zing Stick because she has Veronica's abilities right now. Yeah, we don't have to worry as much with the uh, Yggdrasil Leafs there, but it's still not a bad idea to keep the Yggdrasil Leafs there just for free healing, so... Or, or maybe not free money-wise, but free resource-wise. And I think those are the only two that we could have not got into without this guy on this particular level of the battlegrounds here. Alright. What do we got going here? An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks like it's as if it was left by the Watchers. Watchers float above world. Watch, protect. This island is home, here from beginning. Not just home to Watchers, home to ore. Special ore. Ore to banish darkness. Cool. We get ourselves a cool piece of ore here. Oh, and there's something down there. Okay, so... Nothing we can do with you right there. We just need to go crawling through the areas. Let's go. Ooh, perfect. This gives, this gives us a chance to make some of that stuff that we uh, got last, last time there. And let's go ahead and do that. Forge. A 
another focus point. Neat. And what do we get? We got the Ogre Shield, which is a nice little upgrade for Hendrick, finally. What is a great shield, too. And reduces damage by fire and ice. Brigand's Mitt. Uh, let's see. Deafness increase. And Titan Belt, which increases our attack power. So, Deafness and Defense. It's not too bad for Eric for stealing purposes, but eh, it's not the best. An Ogre Shield. 50, 11 block chance, and 7 fire and ice damage reduction. Okay. That's not too bad. Let's make this. We need a lamb's wool from that. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about the uh, brigand's bits later. For now, let's just go with the ogre shield here. Seems like a nice little upgrade for our side character. There. Not that Hendrick is a side character to anybody, but he's not on the, the bench right now. Let's just say that. There we go. Alright, uh, Kaquadra. Oh, we could have got a crit, but we did not. That's a shame. Good crit. Power of next strike halved. Okay, uh, let's just bash right there. Perfect. Perfect. Glorious. Frickin' glorious. We barely even tried on that one, and it came out. Whew. Good stuff. Makes my life easy. good there. I think sometime in the uh, levels, sometime in the 50s here, sometime in the 50s here, we're going to get a really nice ability for forging, but sadly, we don't have it yet. Where is our shopkeep that occasionally follows us around? I mean, I can see why he wouldn't follow us in here, but uh, still, it would have been nice. He only follows us to, like, the dangerous outside locations. If it's ever inside a cave, he's like, nah, I'm good, fam. I'll stay outside. Which makes sense. He doesn't want to try to die. Alright, good stuff. We're all saved up. Let's go. Oh, look, there's a. Uh... There's a vine going somewhere. Oh, that's right. This, I remember this goes. This just goes down somewhere. I think. No, not yet. Oh, there's multi globules. Nice. That's a nice little spawn point for that. Ah, I forgot those were there. Those are good for the uh, metal stuff of any variety. And I love it when it's just—I love it when it's just one enemy. It makes it so much easier for us to get rid of these guys like this. Uh, how about you take a frizzle there? See how much that does. It didn't do anything to the uh, the chest, and it didn't do as much to this guy that I like. But it did enough. And good crit, my good sir. Good crit. An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks as if it was left by the Watchers. Island not just home to Watchers, home to Ore. Special Ore. Ore to banish darkness. Ore makes special weapon. Weapon to restore hope. Weapon to save all Erdria. Neat. We are skipping, like, several floors here, it seems like. But, uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. And I don't know why they have the sconces or whatever they're called outside, but, well, there they are. Oh, just kidding. I didn't mean to hit that right there. This is not the safest path forward game. Like, if I slip or fart too hard, I will go careening off the cliff, and I'll have nobody to blame but you. Incredibly dangerous. Oh well. And another tombstone left by the Watchers. 
They came, monsters serving Dark One, came to steal ore, fierce battle. Watchers fought monsters, much bloodshed, much sacrifice. Peaceful land ruined, now only known as Battleground. Oh, that's why it's called the Battleground. Because they saw that they got the uh, super ore here, and they're like, hey, it's not going to happen. And I think this is uh, what we came for right here. I thought we could get... Fur this is either it, or it's a little further. Uh, there's a casino girl over there. Okay, this is not the uh, item we came for. Oh well. Uh, plenty of eyes, which is nice, but uh, I need other stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. Bunch of bonnets. Uh, feel free to not be a Pandora's box again. That'd be fantastic. Sacred styles for saintly ladies. Goddesses, tiaras, and saintesses' dress. We'll check those out later. And instead, we'll follow the bunny girl. <clears throat> Hello there, handsome. Fancy quick puff puff. Uh... I don't imagine you get much visitors here in the battleground at basement level 9, but yeah, sure, I'll take a puff puff. <laughs> right this way, sweetheart. By the way, this is, uh, assuming you've gotten all the other puff puffs in the game so far, this will be the last one that we need for an achievement or an accolade or something. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, a very, it's also, it's also quite possibly the best of the puff puffs. So, let's go. We can go over there and get whatever that is later. But Puff Puff waits for no man. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, close your eyes and we'll get started. Better not be your dad again. <laughs> Don't be nervous now. Just relax. Ooh, you're so muscly. <laughs> Let me work out these knots. Does that feel good? You'll tell me if it hurts, won't you? Okay, all done. You can open your eyes now. To take the plunge, darling. Literally. Three, two, one. Puff, puff. Truly the most exquisite of Puff Puffs. That was, it felt like heaven, right? That's why I call it the Puff Puff of Paradise. Come back whenever you want to give it another go. I'll be waiting. Yeah, it's uh, the best Puff Puff in the uh, the game right there. Yeah, that should get you an achievement if you've done all the other Puff Puffs that I think we have. Um, I thought it would give us an accolade too, but either I missed a Puff Puff somewhere or something. I thought, we, I thought we've gotten all the Puff Puffs as far as I know. Maybe there, maybe there isn't a Puff Puff achievement for this version of the game. Uh, there's something down here. Yeah. This skeleton dragon thing. Let's go. Ooh, another uh, wizard thing. Alright, we got Dragon Zombie and White Prince. Alright, so Dragon Zombie, you got... Uh, uh, or the White Prince, you got... Thunderball and Thunder Staff for the rare for the steals, and for the Dragon Zombie you got Dragon Horn and Thunderball. So nothing I really care about for either. I guess the uh, Lightning Staff wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Let's put the Prince to sleep if you we can, or get a crit that works too. Go to sleep. And let's get the Zombie out of the way. 
Uh, ooh, the White Prince is just gonna die no matter what. Sword stance on a zombie here. Not quite enough to take it out, sadly. We'll survive. Thank you for not getting a crit there. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. How much will your crack do? Yeah, decent. Enough to kill that guy. And there we go. Not too bad. Did I get your guys' stuff right? Yeah, Dragon Horn, Thunderball, and then... Thunderball, I that. Okay, that's what I thought. Wasn't 100% sure, but I'm going to ignore the guy on the ground here, because frankly, they're not worth it for like the minimal amounts of experience we get. I thought there was a emerald or a... I'm sorry, I thought there was like a ruby or a sapphire in here somewhere. Agate of Evolution, those are useful for uh, making some very high level stuff later. Alright, this is where we came in from, right? I think. If we see the Puff Puff thought out here... Yeah, okay, we came... That's where we came from. Just wanted to make sure. My short-term memory is not the best. Not the worst, but it's not the best. Hello. Okay, yeah, right in here, uh, we need the... We need a key to get in there. And that right there, that's like a... A better, a stronger version of the Cactolotto that we fought in the outside of uh, Galapagos, right there. That little purple pillar, yeah, that's a stronger version of what we fought over there. And that guy was pretty strong in the first place, so yeah. Sadly, we can't just jump up here. I, I feel like we should be able to just mount and climb our way up there, but the game is not about that life. Yeah, you guys are running away. Great. Dark one attacked. Battle raged. Many fell. Precious ore lost. But some remains. One day will be needed again. Perhaps. Watchers protect the last seam of ore. Protect until end. Protect until World Tree calls us home. The shame we can't like forage for mushrooms in here, but oh well. Uh, you need to like not try to run me over there. Thanks. All right. There's some stuff over there. Oh, you're just the uh, dragon zombie. Well, let's see what else we got over here. We'll come back to that later. For now, let's go this way and see what we got. Okay, this is just the shortcut to where we were moments ago, so that's fine. Uh, are you? No, I thought you were going to be back to sleep. Nah, that's a shame. Alright, uh, I don't care about the rest of you guys. I care about you. Molten globules. Awesome. I forgot, I forgot that there were several molten globule uh, resource points in here because that's actually quite useful for not having to kill the metal slimes to get them. Right, let's check in here real fast. Feel like doing it to you unless I have to. Oh, that appears to be a taco with a password. Uh, you're not going to be a mimic because I trust you. Chrono Crystal. Oh, tut tut tick. I finally found a password, but now I'm completely lost. Where am I? Who are. Hold on a minute. You're the luminary. My luck has turned at last. Here, the password. Damdara via the Altar of Origins. Okay. You use that password I gave you to visit another world from the Echo Chamber in Tickington. Okay, so there we go. I don't know how many of those we actually have, but I feel like we should have a pretty decent amount. 15 of 25. I feel like it would be like 27, because uh it should be like... Nine or ten. I know, like, I think ten is an MMO, I think. Or not. Either ten or nine is an MMO. Ten, I think. So you'd think it'd be like 27, but 
I'm not really sure, so, oh well. Actually, can I look at those real fast? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, Mount Fuji and wherever those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are. So, we'll have to go find those later. Alright, that's where we came in from. Just so you guys know, I'm ignoring you, so go away. I'm ignoring this guy, too. He's running away. Good stuff. Incinium, Incinium, Thunderball, Thunderball. Neat. Whole bunch of ore. Fantastic. Alright, feel free to be awesome. Brain Drainer. Ooh, that's actually a reasonably decent shield. Yeah, 50 defense and elemental damage reduction, so not too shabby. Not as much on the block chance, but... Yeah, if you don't have the Ogre Shield or the means to make the Ogre Shield, then it's not a bad little upgrade. So, nice. And if I remember, uh, is that the one that sells for a lot or no? 20,000. Yeah, if I, if I remember correctly, it's either that one or a shield that looks like that one that we're going to be able to mass farm and sell for the uh, money later in the game at the uh, whale station that I was thinking of. It's not going to be for a while, but that will eventually become like the best place to sell for money and stuff. Oh, this is the other side of where it came down. Neat. Uh, you guys are guarding the entrances. Go away. See what else we got here. We already went through there. Let's go through here. Now we might have already gone through here. One of these. They both go to the same spot. I thought one of them went somewhere slightly different, but I guess not. Here we go. These guys. One of these guys is the hunter mech, right? Yeah, tight uh, killing machine, and then one of these guys is like a hunter mech or something like that. And these guys are getting the ass. There we go. All right, overkilling machine and killing machine. Uh, killing killing machine has platinum ore and spiked armor for the rare steel, and then the overkilling machine has dincinium ore and then falcon blades for the rare steel. So, yeah, if you need Falcon Blades for anything, uh, try to try to get it from the Overkiller Machines. But frankly, I'm not terribly worried about it. But I can see why people would try to get it. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is multi-thrust the uh, killing machine here. Get him out of the way by himself if we can with a crit. Let's go. Yeah, let's get some uh, damage on the overkill machines here, because they're still going to cause lots of uh, damages to us, whether I want them to or not. Random pain. Not be as bad as I thought, but I did try to focus on several characters that were... Okay. We get it. You guys are dangerous. AC Blade. Kind of hurts. But you know what? We'll survive. Here, take a Quadra Slash for everybody. Slash. Alright, 
and we have enough time for a multi heal on everybody. Now, if this wants to pop a second heal, then, yeah, if it ever pops a second heal on like multi heal or something, you're golden. But sadly, it's not super high chance. So, oh well. Right, you guys are all almost dead. Good crit. Eric, you're getting crits like a champ right now, and I love it. Alright, cool. Not too bad. They did put up a reasonably decent fight, that's for damn sure. But for the most part, we survived. Nice. There's that enchanting echo in action again. I love it. Uh, it's so nice when that pops up a second time. Especially for something like multi-heal or... Uh, if you're on a group, uh, group of enemies and you can sap them. Some? And then they pop off for a second to sap. That's also quite nice there. Are you guys running away? They, those guys are actually running away. They're scared of me. How dare they? I didn't think I was that powerful, but okay. Plenty of gold nuggets. Great. Don't care about the white. I do care about the treasure. I was trying to get a little bit more health for soul, but the game is obviously under the impression that I don't need it. Ooh, a bad axe. That could be a nice little upgrade for Mr. Hendrick. 350. Yeah, well, oh, this is a. Uh, that's right. This is eventually his ultimate axe. Yeah, so not too bad. It's not ultimate yet, but eventually it will be. Like, by the end of the game. Yeah, they're going to start giving us a pretty decent chunk of... the ultimate weapons of the game in their non-ultimate form. Kind of like in Final Fantasy X, where you get, like, the celestial weapons, but they're all depowered or whatever. Except these, I don't know if they're actually depowered. You just have to forge them just because. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything, anything down there like the Dragon Knights or whatever. Dragon Ears. Dragon Ears or whatever. But I don't think there is. And I think that should be, yeah, all the monsters except for this guy right here. Which we can't deal with right now because he's uh, hanging out on the side somewhere. So we're fine for monster variety at the moment. We found everybody important. We also found ourselves another headstone. Erdria was at peace, but then disaster. Dark One came. Hope turned to despair. Only Luminary can defeat him, and only with a sword. Sword of precious ore. Well, I'll do my best, but I didn't make it first. Okay, everybody else is running away, but this guy is uh, not scared of us. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before, but uh, these are some of the guys that will pop up, or varieties of those guys will occasionally pop up if your electrolyte goes bad. Various uh, killing, killing monsters like that will show up. Okay, with this area, I remember that you had to get to like the fifth floor to get the ore. And I thought the rest was like optional until later. But no, what I forgot was they basically make you do the whole thing no matter what. Oh well. It's not too bad. Plus, when we come back later with the key to open that door and get whatever's in there, we can fight the... Uh, oh, we, we can have a uh, campsite that's reasonably nearby, so it's not too bad. And yeah, this should be where our ore is. Yeah, right there. That's our super special ore. Something tells me we've found our special ore. <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's Oricalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Oricalcum. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? 
You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Ah. Uh, I didn't mean to skip that, but uh, got a little on. carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Hmm. And we get some rarefied ore calcum. Nice. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. All right, cool. Fantastic. I think now we just have to go ahead and uh, make our way to Hato. Uh, there's not a whole lot else here in the battlegrounds we have to do, but let's go ahead and go back to the uh, staircase and keep heading up and see if there's anything else there. There are probably a few more treasure chests and stuff in there for us to grab, so let's get that stuff real quick. And then we'll potentially be able to make the sword this episode. But depending, uh, depending on what we need to do a hotel, because I forget exactly. Right, I'm gonna ignore you guys because I don't care. Goodbye. Let's see how you guys doing on levels there. Everyone is quite a ways away, so we'd have to actually get and defeat a nice little group of liquid metals or something like that to actually get anything out of it. Fair enough. Alright, B6. We'll let you got there, champs. Dragoneer. Stuff to ride. Royal Ruby. There we go. Yeah, so they do have these stuff. Uh, the Royal Rubies and the Savvy Sapphires for collecting, but well, they're kind of a pain. Let's grab this guy and take him for a ride, shall we? Let's go. Okay, I didn't need you to show up too there, guy. Let's do this. Uh, oh well. I'll probably get the uh, sap to double on these guys. It's probably not gonna happen, but I'd like it to, so. I was really hoping to put the machine to sleep, but sadly, it did not work. Um, Walker Slash should kill off the dragon here. There we go. Put that defense down, please. Perfect. Alright, and then try to poison or something. Not quite. I think he blocked one of those, that bastard. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Yeah, the killing machines are dangerous. The overkilling machines are the real pains in the asses. Don't really want to deal with either one, but they're there. Alright, uh, let's see. We should be able to... Yeah, use these guys to get out quicker. Oh, especially since, you know, the the stairs decided to stop right here, so there's that. Alright, this is just where we were a minute ago, I think. Oh, slightly different. Brace yourself. Life bracers, mighty armlets, brainy bracers, spirit bracers, restoratives. Ooh, we can finally make restoratives. That took a while to get. That's the one that recovers uh, 25 health per turn when it's maxed out, if I remember correctly. I think you're just the same area that we were at. Yeah, okay, so there we go. See, this is why we keep exploring this place, because there's plenty to explore. Uh, you want to... Uh, you were stuck on something there. I don't know what. What about over here? There we go. Mithril ore. Uh, overkilling machine, you can go screw yourself, please. Thanks. Heard you was a piece and disaster. Dark one came. Hope turned to spare. Okay, so this is where we've already been. Okay, we've already been down here. Good stuff. 
I think they're... Yeah, this is separated from the other area. So I think the only other way to get out of here is to evac or zoom or something like that. So... Yeah, let's just get out of here. Uh, and go to... Boto. Alright, so we got pretty much everything we could have got in there. Except for that one room that was locked, which you can't do a whole lot with. Alright, so... Now we gotta get to that other area. The area with the, the forge here by Hoto. And then we're pretty much done with uh, making the sword. It was a shorter process than I was anticipating. Oh, by the way, those um, those other saplings that we we saw from over on the Watcher's Island, uh, we can't do anything with those until uh, later. So, sadly, it's just something we're going to have to worry about. Not right now, for sure. Alright, so... That light in your eyes. It seems you have a question. Do you seek knowledge? Yes. The Forge of Legend, Sacred Heart of the Mountain? Of this I have heard. Go to Miko's maid. Her knowledge surpasses mine. Ask her what she knows. Okay. We could ask Miko, but she got eaten by her son, so that's probably not for the best. We are in your debt. You did more than save our lives. You saved poor Ryu's soul. I must repay you. Do you have something to ask? Something I may know? I do. So I'll ask if Miko's maid knows anything about the legendary forge of Mount Fuji. A childhood fable, the tale of a sacred forge. Words half forgotten. The volcano's peak, a flame cast in its crater. The forge born again. But none may go there. A place not on any map. Not on any map. Entry forbidden. Until now, at least. Take this gift, honored savior. Destiny awaits. And we get the crucible key. Nice. A locked door awaits, beyond it, the sacred forge, untouched for aeons. Did we ever any raid uh, Miko's? Okay, we did. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, cool. We have everything we need to make the sword. Let's go ahead and go make it. It won't take too long to get over there. Uh, we might stop for like a piece of uh, firewood on the way, but for the most part, we will be good to just head over there and uh, make a sword to kick Mordigan's ass. It's actually a nice little cutscene, too, so I want to get over there and take care of it. Uh, let's see, I want to call my tiger. Wow. And I don't think the tiger can go up here. No, can he? Yeah, he can. He, I don't think, I don't know if we'll actually be able to keep him up here. That's a shame. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I tried. Alright, so let's go this way real fast. I think down in here we can grab a... Yeah, I can grab that firewood real quick. So let's grab that. Not get hit by the hands. Perfect. Firewood. Uh, you just sit there and flex forever, and uh, eventually the sheen of the sweat on your muscles will cause you to evolve to a higher form, but for now, not so much. Alrighty, let's see if we can get into the uh, the forge here. Use the crystal key. There's another uh, password. Neat. Hello there, Mr. Luminary. I took my ticket time, but I found a password for you. I'm going to go ahead and say it now, so make sure you're paying attention. Eremos' castle via the Altar of Salvation. Talkity tick, you can use that password. Okay, good stuff. I'll probably look up where to get the rest of these things in this chapter, because I don't know where they're at, and frankly, I probably need to get them at some point. Uh, it's 
kind of lava in here. Lava E. Let's see. Where are we going here? The guiding light is pulsating strangely. Offered up to the volcano? Sure. place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make a new sword of light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Uh, <clears throat> of course you know that decor anywhere. Savando is fucking lava. Also, you guys know how when you uh, finish cooking and you turn off the uh, the heat and the skillet sits there after you've taken the food out and you haven't washed it yet because you're lazy and you'll wash it after you eat and the skillet's there and uh, you don't want to touch it because despite the fact that the heat's off uh, it was still fucking 400 degrees minutes ago I feel like lava's slightly hotter than that and I feel like they might want to wait a couple hours for the uh, rock to cool down after it comes up from being submerged in the lava for however many centuries here. You know, just like, raise it up, go take a nap at the inn, come back tomorrow and hope that it's uh, cooled off a little bit. Or maybe have Rab or Serena cast a crack spell to keep it cool or something. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but whatevs. Uh, let's do some party talk. We haven't had any party talk for a while. I wasn't going to mention it, but... Can you feel it? The sacred power that emanates from the center of the crucible. It's clear that's where we need to forge our sword. <laughs> I can't believe the forger looking for just came rising out of the lava like that. Anything we make here is going to be pretty special, and that's for sure. Come on, let's gather everything we need and get forging. Why? How extraordinary. I have no idea how this place was constructed, and I suspect that questions of who built it and how shall forever remain a mystery. It was the Watchers. Let's just always say it was the Watchers. Now then, laddie. Did you see how the whole crucible reacted when you held up the guiding light, laddie? However the ancients built it, they made sure that only the luminary could trigger their contraption. Let's have a nice little chat. That was so dramatic. Watching the forge rise up from the fiery lava, the tension was incredible. Those ancient folks really knew what they were doing. They were proper showmen. Maybe. There's something about the design of the crucible, something that really draws you in. You know the strangest thing? It feels familiar somehow. Jade, you draw everybody in with your design, because as hot as this lava is, you're just as hot, so good stuff. Hang on, I'm thirsty, I need to grab some water. <sighs> That's better. Still thirsty, but not a whole lot I can do about it. Great power emanates from within. Okay, uh, we'll hang off on a minute. I want to see if anybody needs a better outfit for this. I think everybody is mostly on a pretty good outfit. See Eric. Yeah, okay, you're fine on this. Jade. We could keep you in the bikini. Or we could put you in the Scarlet Slayer, which would be pretty nice. Yeah, I think the Scarlet Slayer looks pretty good for a little while. Yeah, let's do that. Serena. The Hip Shaker. Or the Dotty. I think you're fine on the, uh, I, I do like the hip shaker, or the dotty number here, just for the boots. 
Hey, let's do that. Savando. So yeah, let's go for the Parade Master here. Perfect. Rab, I think you're good for the most part. And Hendrick, you're still a beast in your Heliodorian. Excuse me. The great power emanates from within. There certainly seems like a place where a legendary, legendary sword could be forged. Or wood. Yeah, it could be forged. Use the forging hammer to make, work the rarefied or calcum and make a new sword of light. Let's go. Take it from here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm not about to let you steal all the glory, honey. If you get to have a go, we all do. Aye. And besides, we saw in the vision that the old heroes all had a bash. We'd best follow their lead, eh? Yep, we're all in this together. May the new Sword of Light be tempered by the resolve of all those who would drive darkness from this world. <laughs> well, I'm game if you all are. Hmm. <laughs> 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 If I hadn't met you, I'd never have been able to save Mia and make things right. Now it's my turn to help you. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this sword made and the world saved! I've got people to entertain and a promise to my puppy to keep. <laughs> Elena, Erwin, your boy turned out all right. And now I'm gonna help make sure he fulfills his destiny. I thought it was my job to stand behind the Luminary. It's not. I'm supposed to stand beside him. We all are. I hereby pledge, as a Knight of Heliodor, to fight to the end for the cause of the Luminary. May I be his sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. Veronica, I promise to finish this without you. I'm stronger now, thanks to you. For the Luminary! I guess there's only one way to find out. Pick that thing up and give it a swing.
And we got the Sword of Light. Nice. Your allies are assembled. You have the means to take to the air. And now you possess the Sword of Light. The time to face the Lord of Shadows is at hand. What he said. Let's finish this. It's finally time. We're finally going to do it. Let's use a calmness flute to summon Satisha. She'll be able to take us to the Fortress of Fear, I'm sure of it. A warder for reforging a sword of light with the help of your friends, and setting out with it to see the Lord of Shadows toppled. Neat. And if we look at our awesome new sword of light there, eh, pretty decent. It's not quite a uh, two handed sword, but it's definitely not too bad, and it does lightning damage. And cures a single ally of negative status effects when you use the item in battle. So, uh,. Yeah. Now, did this do something? Not quite. Okay. I wanted to see if it did something for us, but uh, we might have to wait till later for it. Okay. Cool. We finished up with the. Uh, we finished up with the battlefield, or battleground, or whatever it's called, and we got ourselves the Forge of Light. And next episode, we will either go ahead and head to the Fortress of Fear, or we will do something slightly different. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.